What's up? Welcome back to another video. This is Educational Code Forces Round 160 rated for due to. We're going to solve the third problem that is game with multi set. So the problem statement is very, very small. It is just three lines. So let's see what the problem states. So in this problem, right, we will be given an empty multi set. So multi set means it's like a set that can have duplicate numbers. That's all. A number can repeat multiple times. We have to process two types of queries. So they will give us n queries. We are going to process it. Add x means add an element equal to 2 per x to the multi set. When you are representing add x, right, in the uh, input test case, they will give 1 and x. Let's say it is x dash or something. We have to, if this is the multi set, we have to insert 2 per x dash value. Now, again, if they are giving 1, x uh, double dash means you have to insert 2 per x double dash. x double dash is a value. Again, if they are giving x triple dash means you have to insert 2x triple dash. So this is clear. Now, the second type of query is get w. Say whether it is possible to take sum of some subset of the current multiset and get a value equal to w. That is, if a get w means get operation represents the number 2, these all they will give in the question only. In the test case, in the input format, if you see, they will tell. So 2w means, is it possible for w to get like a sum of any of these numbers. W can be 2 power x dash or W can be 2 power x dash plus 2 power x double dash or sum of all anything. So whenever I am till getting 2 W, that means I need to see whether I can take some numbers from the multi set and form that W. If it is possible, you just have to print yes. If it is not possible, you just have to print no. Only for the second operation, you need to print yes or no. For only one operation, you don't have to print anything. That's all. Now let's uh, understand this with the help of few examples. Then we'll straight away jump to the solution. What did they say? One and zero. One means what? They give add two power zero to the array. So if this is the multi set, one zero means what? Two power zero. Two power zero represents one, right? So two power zero, it's just the power. I'm adding one. Now again one zero came. So again I'm adding one. Again one zero came. Again I'm adding one. Now two three came. Two three means what? Is it possible for me to get the sum of three? One plus one plus one, it is three, right? One plus one plus one. So I can print yes here. Similarly, two four came. Two and four came. Is it possible for me from the multi set to take a sum as four? Four is not possible, so they printed no. Let's take the second example also. One zero came. So that means what? 2 power 0 is 1. 2 power 1 is what? 2. 2 power 2 is what? 4. 2 power 10 is what? 1024. Now, they are asking for 2, 4. Is it possible for me to make the sum of 4? Already 4 is here. So yes. Is it possible for me to make a sum of 6? So 2, 6. Yes. 4, 5, 6. 4 plus 2 you can do. 2, 7. Is it possible for me to make a sum of 7? Yes. 4, 5, 6, 7. That, that's why everything is yes. If they give 8 or something, is it possible? 4, 5, 6, 7? No, not possible. So 5, it is possible. 4 plus 1. And 6 is also, it is possible. 4, 5, 6, that they already told. And 3 is also possible. Many combinations. Now, uh, how do we do it? Before that, if you are comfortable with binary, what happens in a binary number, right? Every binary number is a set of 2's power. So any number, if you have only 2... Uh, numbers like 1 and 0, you have to place one in such a way that the sum of all of them becomes that number. So for example, if you want to quickly write a binary number, right, I'll show you the hack. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 2 per 0 is what? 1. 2 per 1 is 2. 2 per 2 is 4. Uh, 8. 2 per 4 is 16. 32. 64. Okay. Suppose if I need to write the binary format of 56, what will I do? I just want to check from the extreme left whether uh, the you call this maximum significant bit and this is the least significant bit. Whether 56 is less than 64. If 56 is greater than 32, it is greater than 32, right? So you insert this 32 value to 56. If you insert it, I am taking this 32 value. So if I'm taking this 56 minus 32 is how much? 2, 5 minus 3 is 2. So you are getting, sorry, 6 minus 2 is 4 and 5 minus 3 is 2. 
so okay 24 you got 24 remaining is 24 from 24 you remove 16 also 24 is greater than 16 so you can't remove easily remove 16 so how much do you get 14 and this is one so for 8 you value you get now 8 is greater than or equal to 8 yes now I get only 0 8 minus 8 is 0 only so 0 is less than 4 no 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 so this is the binary value of it you just don't have to write that uh, arrow or divide it nothing like that you just write that whenever a number is greater you take that value and put there if you put there you have to subtract the value and from the remaining you just keep doing it like this so you are able to form this number here also it is exactly the same uh, here there are multiple twos power here only one twos power we are doing if there are multiple twos power what do we do same thing we'll do now let's think of the brute force approach like what do we do generally so if we are inserting everything we just compute it first of all if we compute it like uh, let's say this x value is something like 7 what do you do 2 power of 2 comma 7 you do so how much you do you do 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 many times you do the 2's power so you are not optimizing anything here i am just uh, computing multiple times 2 and then putting into the multi set if i am getting w if I just want to know uh, whatever uh, numbers can form it as some means, I can take all the combinations. So how many combinations can come? Either I can take one alone. So, so a number of subsets, right? Like two per n subsets can come. So this alone can come, this alone can come, this, 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 many, many, many things can come. So that is also not going to work. So we need to optimize it. How do we optimize it? From the binary uh, solution, we saw that it is just easier to take the highest value and just keep doing it. One thing we can optimize here is, uh, here they very well told that, if you see here, the value of vi is less than or equal to 29. That means what? Add vi means this x value, right? x value will be max 29 only. So what is the one thing that I would do is, in a for loop, from 1 to 29, I compute the 2's powers. So 2 per 1 to 2 per 29, I put it inside a vector or a set so or a map let's say 0 will be mapped to 2 part 0 and that is uh, 1 1 will be mapped to 2 2 will be mapped to 4 and uh, similarly and so on until 29 mapped to 2 part 29 now uh, whenever they are asking 1 3 if they give a query like this I can I don't have to compute that 2's power I can directly go to the 3 and take that 8 and put it inside the multi set. That is one optimization, right? I don't have to compute each time. If I'm asking like 115, I don't have to do 2 multiply 2 15 times or use the power function. I can just reference this array and get the value. Then what if there are multiple 115 comes? So, or like multiple 13s come. 13 is there. Again, 13 comes. Again, 13 comes. So, for this also, I can say that there are 8, 8, 8. Instead of putting 888, I can just say that 8 occurs 3 times. So that means, what do I do? I can just say that this value 8, if I refer this 3, if I refer this 3, I get a value. This value will be occurring 3 times. Okay, so if 15 occurs like multiple times, 15 some value like x occurs means x occurs 4 times. Okay, now... Uh, let's take an so this is the basic idea of it how we are building the array now let's take another example like uh, let's say in a after performing all of this we got like these numbers 16 16 16 16 something 8 8 8 something 4 4 2 2 2 many number of things are in the array all are two's purpose we all know this now let's uh, take an example like 47 this is the multi set they are asking 247 is it possible to get the sum as 47 so how do we actually define this is it's not logically speaking all are mapped okay so 16 occurs three times eight occurs 16 occurs uh, four times right so 16 occurs four times eight occurs three times four occurs two times two occurs four times and one occurs four times now they are giving is it possible for me to get 47 as i told earlier if i try out all the different combinations there will be a lot tla will also come we should not do that so how do we smartly do it so you go for 16 from 47 how many 16s we can take so let's see right what is 3 into 16 48 so obviously 3 16 we can't take we should take only 2 16 that is still 16 and 16 32 only we can take 
How did I come to know that? It's very simple. You just divide it. 47 by 16 will be 2 point something. Okay, 2 point something will come. So this something we should not take because it is not a seal value, right? You take 2 only and multiply it by 16. Only the exact whole number we need to take. 16 plus 16 is 32. So from this, I, it is possible for me to take 32. So that is 47 minus 32 is how much? 7 minus 2, 6, 5, 4 minus 3 is 15. So from this, I took two values. Now 15 remains. You go to the next step. Obviously 15 is less than 16, right? You can't take here. You go to the next value. How many eights can I take? I can take only one eight. How did I get that? 15 divided by eight. So 15 divided by eight is one point something. I take only one number from here. So you go eight, 15 minus eight. 15 minus eight is how much? So 15 minus eight is, uh, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm so bad at math. So you have 7. The value is 7 and you are taking 1, 8 from here. 7 came. Now, how many 4s I can take? 7 by 4 is 1 again. So 7 by 4 is 1. So how do you do that? 7 by 4, you are getting as 1. Multiply it by 4. You don't take the decimal value. Multiply it by 4. You get 7 minus 4. That is 3. So 1, 4 I take. I get 3. So uh, how many twos I can take? I can take one two here, right? So three minus two is one. I can take one here. So this number 47 can be written. Uh, we can take two 16 from here, one eight from here, one four from here, one two here, and one one from here so that the number 47 is made. If we are unable to make this from the most significant bit to the least significant bit, we can say that the answer is not at all possible. So what all we do? We'll now see the code and understand it. It is very simple, right? So what did we do here first? So what we did here is from uh, 0 to 30, I'm taking all the 2's power, 1, 2, 4, uh, 8 till 2 power 30 something we are taking. Now, what did they say? If A and B can have two values, 1 and some B value is like X or something means, I can go to MA of B. MA of B is what? So suppose 0, 1, 2 is here means if 1, 2 comes means these are all map, right? These are all map. This is the key. This is the value. This is the key. This is the value. And similarly, so on. 1, 2 means I go to this map, MA of 2. That is what? 4. So 4 means value of 4 plus plus. So in the set, I am telling that 4 is occurring. 4 is occurring oh, one time. Now again, if I give 1, 2. I go here, I reference this 2 and go to 4 and increment it. So 4 became 2, right? 2 means what? 4, 4. Many are there. So similarly, for all elements, for 1, it keeps on happening. How is it happening for uh, 2? Let's see. So suppose 2 and 7 comes means I try for all the possibilities that are there. So i equal to 30, i greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. That is all the 2's power. Now what I'm checking here is, here 0, 1, 2 I kept, right? From 30 to this, from the most significant bit to this value, I'm just checking whether my value is greater than or not. In our case, we saw 47, right? So 47 means I am checking 47 is greater than MA of 30 or not. MA of uh, 30 are the 2's power. So 9, 19, 18, 17, like that. We check for everything here. So 47 is greater than 4. MA of 4. MA of 4 means what? It is 16. So if it is greater, if 16, if 16 exists and it is greater, then what do we do? I can just say that val dot count of m of i. That means what? In the multi set, whether that value exists or not. If the value is existing, I am taking 47, 47 is b divided by 16. So how many 16s can I take or val of m of i? Why do I do that? I'll show you. So here 47 by 16, you got as two, right? Suppose only 116 exists in the array means I cannot take two values. I can I am forced to take only one value. So that's why the minimum of 16s or 47 by 16. How many twos? Either I can take two twos, two 16s or 116. The minimum value. So that's why I'm doing 47 by 16, comma, val of MA of 16, number of occurrence of that into 16 because it will be a decimal number. I am removing the decimal, I'm getting only the whole value. Once I get the whole value, I am subtracting that. So from 47, I am removing 32. 216 I got, I can remove 32. If there is only 116 in the array, I do 47 minus 16. So 47 minus 32 will be some number. 
seven six five fifteen will be there. Next, it goes to the next iteration. So MA of four is done. I check for MA of three. MA of three is already reference. Three is what? MA of three is eight. So fifteen is greater than eight. I check. I do the same thing again and again. Now after that, after the B value becomes zero, I simply print yes, or else I simply print no. So this one you can ignore. I was getting some uh, endless loop. That's why, but no issues with that. So what all we did here? Let's try to understand. So you are uh, two queries can come. They will give you the number of queries. Um, everything will be like a two's power. So each time I don't have to compute two's power. So I am pre-computing it and store it inside a map like MA of zero. You can put array also, no problem. And putting everything like that. If I want to get a number, I have to find all the possible combinations of two to see whether the sum exists or not. But we already know that if a binary number or a number has to be found, we go from MSB to LSB only. So uh, I can just say that uh, I am mapping the existing map to a value counter to the multi-set map. So if 16 is if I'm referencing 4, it will automatically go to 16. Now if I'm getting 4, I can just simply increment the count of it. So I can directly get the value. So if the number is B here, I am checking from 2 power 30, 2 power 29. Similarly, I go so on. Uh, I, there is a place like 2 power 4 comes and I'm checking whether uh, 47, how many 16s can I take from 47. So I am removing those numbers, the minimum value and uh, taking the remaining value and just keep doing it until we reach the bund. So if we are able to get the value as zero, we have reached the answer. So that's it guys. So this is the problem solution link. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. That's it guys. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to leave your comments. Uh, so if you like the video, please uh, write down the comments. That's it. Thank you so much guys. See you in the next video. Bye.